Welcome back to my car cave. Uh, here's a, another new model or new ish model. Uh, this is one I have in a Hamilton version from Australia. This is a George Russell version from the Bahrain Grand Prix. Again, this is another CK model cars, uh, version. So it comes in this nice clamshell, uh, Mercedes liveried, uh, box. So it's a limit to uh, 363, the 63 a nod obviously to Russell's, uh, race number um you can see under here uh mentioned ck in this paddock company as well so anyways you know you know i like these clamshell boxes open it up um you get a picture of the car from the race and then you get uh this nice little uh, livery or mercedes livery themed uh base with some information about the race and then clearly the car so let's go ahead and uh, take it off the base and uh, we'll look at it a little bit closer Okay, like I said, I already have a variant of this, so I'm going to keep this uh, video pretty brief, just talk to you about why I have this one now. Um, this one comes with a placard, uh, like I said in a previous video, uh, for the Alonzo car, the 300th Grand Prix. They did not make a placard, but they, they made this pit board uh, for this race, which was a pretty insignificant race. I think Russell finished like you know, fifth or sixth. Anyways, uh, they have this. I don't need these, but it, it is there. I want to show it to you. Um, so again, this is from the Bahrain Grand Prix, which was the first race of the season. Uh, and I think, uh, Russell wore this green helmet, I think for the first two races of the year. Uh, it's not his traditional helmet. He traditionally wears that, uh, blue color and he would revert that later in the year. Uh, I picked this one up because the A was on sale. Um, and B, I was a little bit disappointed by the, uh, color of the Hamilton uh, car the the highlighted yellow on his helmet and on the uh, body of the car uh, it was just muted it, you know, it's the same yellow here it's just not as bright as I think it could have been or should have been um, where this is green really stands out and I think it's great matches the highlights here on the uh, the eyebrows of the car as well as his number again that was specific for these uh, first race or two of the year but uh, it does match the uh, wheel nuts as well which were uh, consistent uh, throughout the season and also on the uh, Hamilton car. So this all kind of ties together. And so I'm really kind of picking this car up um, just based on uh, cosmetics more than anything. Usually I pick the better driver over the season, which Hamilton was in uh, 2023, um, unless it's like Schumacher or Alonzo. And then, therefore I'm just getting that driver because he's they're my favorite. So Anyways, um, so just wanted to, yeah, like I said, wanted to share this model with you. I think it's a, a really attractive model. Um, there's a few differences. Again, this was the first race of the year. It's a hotter race. So um, there are these air outlets here and then this like a little mock panel here, carbon fiber panel that uh, they could have had extra air vents that they had chosen to. Um, those do not appear on the Australian car. Um, that's really the only other main difference. Uh, then you have the uh, white wheel markings here whereas on the Hamilton car for uh, Australia it's a red um, tire markings which you know I, I don't like they don't look as good uh, against the black and the white really stands out and obviously it matches all the other highlights on this car so I just think overall this is just a more attractive model um, that's primarily why I'm going to add this and sell my Hamilton version um, and other than that that's about it uh, this is I believe die cast based on feel if I uh do the resin test uh, you can see it's clear usually if you do that with a resin car it's a bunch of uh, white dust or powder that comes out so that said uh, the rear wheels turn um, not great but they do uh, and then on the front this one turns this one does not, uh, and it's exactly the same on the Hamilton I, I don't know the difference um, and neither of them uh, yeah, turn left or right. So it's kind of like, so then rather than turning the wheel spin. Um, so that said, uh, you know, has the, it, it's a die cast uh, model. Um, and that's really about it. So if you want to understand more details about the, the quality of the model and that kind of stuff, please go look at the uh, video on the Hamilton car and talk more details about uh, the mini chance model. But I want to share and update my collection with you. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe. I've got some more new, new cars uh, coming, and I'll, I'll get some videos out soon. Boy, you can't just battle me.